Hi, let's talk about flowchart to study enzymes. The first step to study enzyme is the selection of source from which the enzyme of interest is to be isolated. The source can be microbial, it can be plant or it can be animal. In case of microbial culture, the colony is first inoculated in liquid broth and allowed to grow. Once the culture grows, it is centrifuged. The extracellular enzymes will be present in the supernatant, whereas the pellet will have the biomass. Now if the enzyme of interest is intracellular, then we need to collect the biomass. Also in case of plants, most of the enzymes will be intracellular. So for this, we need to give chemical and physical treatment for the extraction of enzyme by cell lysis. Once the cells are lysed, we centrifuge the sample. As a result, the cell debris will be obtained in the pellet, whereas the supernatant will have the intracellular enzyme. So, depending on your enzyme, it can be extracellular, it can be intracellular. Once the supernatant is obtained, we need to precipitate the enzyme. For this, we can use ammonium sulfate, we can use solvents like ethanol, acetone or isopropyl alcohol. All of these will precipitate the enzyme. Once the enzyme is precipitated, we dissolve the precipitate in the buffer. We will now use this solution to perform column chromatography. So depending on your enzyme sample, adsorption column chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, gel permeation chromatography or affinity chromatography can be performed. During chromatography, when the enzyme is purified, several studies can be carried out with the purified enzyme. The simplest study can be mixing the enzyme with the substrate and measure the amount of product formed in unit time. This will give us the information regarding units of enzyme present after purification. This is because one unit of enzyme is the micromoles of product formed in one minute. So by measuring the concentration of product formed per unit time, the units of enzyme can be calculated. Next, all these studies can be done. By performing STS page or native page, we can find the molecular weight of enzyme. The SDS page will also give information regarding purity of purified enzyme. This is because the presence of other protein contaminants will show the presence of extra bands. Next, estimation of protein by Follin's assay will give us information regarding concentration of enzyme after purification. Usually, this will be expressed as micrograms per ml. Now, using this data, we can calculate specific activity of purified enzyme. The specific activity is units of enzyme present per milligram of protein. Now, units of enzyme we already know and this information which is in micrograms can be converted into milligrams. So, units of enzyme per milligram of protein will give us specific activity of the purified enzyme. Now, if we divide the amount of enzyme by its molecular weight, then this will give us total number of moles of enzymes that has been purified. So all we need to do is divide this amount by the molecular weight. So weight by molecular weight 
will give us moles of enzyme present after purification. And since one mole is 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 molecules, this information in moles can be converted into total number of enzyme molecules which has been purified. If the number of enzyme molecules are calculated, then we can calculate turnover number of the enzyme. This is because turnover number is the ratio of total number of product molecules formed in one second divided by total number of enzyme molecules. Next, to determine 3D structure of enzyme, we can use X-ray crystallography and cryo-electron microscopy. To determine the presence of alpha helix or beta sheet in the enzyme, we can perform Fourier transformed infrared spectroscopy and CD spectra. And the most important parameters such as determination of Vmax, determination of Km, effect of inhibitors, pH optima, temperature optima, stability to pH and temperature, all these assays can be performed using purified enzyme. Last but not the least, the band obtained in SDS page can be sent for protein sequencing. This will give us information regarding primary sequence of amino acids. So this is how the enzymes are studied.